Hello everyone! Friends, are you aware that the jungle is one of the most dangerous places on Earth? There, you could die very quickly. In the water, there are deadly bacteria, predatory fish, and alligators. On land, big feline killers, snakes, and spiders. And in the air, bloodsuckers carrying deadly diseases. On top of all that, there's a bunch of poisonous plants, a lot of humidity, and no reference points. So right now, we're taking our one and only, the world's bravest survivalist into the jungle, Bear Grylls. I'm just kidding. Of course it will be you, Tony. There's no one else around, is there? Let's see what people should do to survive in the wild jungle. Or vice versa, what they shouldn't do. Let's go! The most important thing you need to survive is fresh water. In the jungle, you'll have no problem with that. Frequent rains will prevent you from dying of thirst. The most important thing is to place as many containers to collect water as possible. Large leaves rolled up into a bowl, coconut shells, bamboo, and other contraptions will do. Besides water, of course, you need food. The simplest thing is to eat different fruits, of which there are plenty in the jungle. The most important thing is to eat only fruits that you are familiar with, because many of the plants growing here are poisonous. Pick bananas, coconuts, passion fruit, mangoes, and avocados. Also, most palm trees have an edible core, so if you manage to chop it or make a hole in it with something, you can get some sustenance from here. And of course, you need some kind of shelter. We have already talked in detail about how to make a good shelter. You can see it on our video about surviving on a desert island. You can find the link in the description below. The only difference is that in the jungle, it is better to build a shelter on high ground. In the lowlands, among the dense vegetation, there will be many more insects, including mosquitoes, which can infect you with malaria, yellow fever, and dengue fever. In addition, because of the high humidity and lack of ventilation, your clothes will always be damp, which can not only provoke colds and sores on the body, but also prevent wounds and cuts from healing. Okay, Tony, we have food, water, and shelter. Look out, a jaguar! Just kidding. However, your reaction is worrisome. If there were a real jaguar there, you'd be gone and some of our subscribers would probably be upset. I guess. Tell us in the comments if you would be upset if Tony had been eaten by a wild predator. And for you, Tony, I have one piece of advice. Beware of predators and carry a weapon with you just in case. You can make a spear out of bamboo, sharpening one end with a knife or a stone. There are a lot of different creatures that can kill you in the jungle. On land, there are panthers, jaguars, leopards, and tigers. Underwater, there are alligators, caimans, crocodiles, and anacondas, as well as poisonous spiders and snakes of all sizes. When crossing a river, use a stick for balance, as strong currents and slippery rocks can lead to injury. To cross the river, find the shallowest place and beware of leeches. No, 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 Tony. No matter how hot it is, it's better to leave your skin covered. I already mentioned how dangerous these mosquitoes can be. It's best to rub mud on the exposed parts of your body as well. Another deadly enemy is heat. Always cover your head and neck. If you feel overheated, it's best to stop and rest. It's also best to avoid long trips during the hottest time of the day and under direct sunlight. Are you tired, Tony? Well, then it's time to find your way back to civilization. The safest and most effective method is to find a river and follow its current. Almost all the villages and towns in the world are located near water. Therefore, walking along the river is the most reliable way to find a settlement and some help. However, you do not know how long you will have to walk. A day? Two days? A month? All right, Tony, come on, hurry up. We have to make a new and interesting video for next week. Friends, don't worry about Tony. He's been in tougher situations than this. I'm sure he'll find his way home. And if he gets really sick, I have a super modern shelter nearby with lots of water, good food, medicine, and a warm soft bed. But don't tell him, it's for emergencies only. And by the way, if you are interested in the topic of survival in different places, 
then watch our video in which we collected all the information we have on the subject. Tony has showed us how to survive on a desert island, in the forest, in the desert, and even in the middle of the ocean. The link is here on the screen and in the description below. Well, tell us in the comments, what would you do first, if you found yourself alone in the jungle? The best ideas will be featured in the next video. Bye-bye!